Hey guys, it's Thomas here again, and right now I'm gonna show you the flow component, which in my opinion, it's kind of a variation of the stretch component we just saw. So to begin with, let's go to the transform tab. Under morph, you are gonna find the flow component right here. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of inputs we need to feed for this component to work. So let's take a look at the help menu and see what it tells us. The flow component realigns objects from a base curve to a target curve. In other words, it kind of stretches a geometry to fit a target curve. For that, you're gonna need a base geometry, which is gonna be the form, a reference curve, and a target curve. The component also gives us the option to flip the direction of both of them. Also, it asks us if you want to stretch the geometry to fit the target curve or not. And finally, if we want to deform the geometry or not. Okay? So my base geometry is gonna be this function right here. My reference curve is gonna be the blue line. My target curve is gonna be the circle. So here is my geometry, my reference curve, my target curve. If you wish, we could flip the direction of the reference curve or the target curve. Also, by default, the geometry is being stretched to fit the target curve, but we could maintain the original length of the curve if we wish, you see? So it's not fitting anymore, okay? And finally, if we do not want to deform the geometry, we could simply connect here and set to true. And that's it for today. Thank you guys.